Today on FAQ Fridays, we're going to be talking about understanding the importance of UL listings. My name is Curtis Ward. Today I'm joined with Dustin Haddock, S5's Vice President of Research and Development. Dustin, thanks for taking the time to come and chat with us today. It's happy to be here. And what exactly is UL 2703? So UL 2703 is a racking component standard. I, I don't have the title memorized. It's a lengthy one. Okay. But UL 2703 evaluates the rack components, so everything from the rack up. It has basic test methods, some, somewhat basic, but in that standard we're looking for mechanical load. So it allows a racking component manufacturer to load rate his products. The connections of the modules to the rack, in our case the connection of the module to the PV kit, and it's tested with positive load negative load and then a kind of a downslope load um, that those numbers are then published within the manu manufacturer's mo uh, manuals it's also looking at from like a shock hazard and so it has grounding and bo bonding criteria in it. the grounding and bonding portions of it are fully compliant with what the nec says so we have the building code the nec is the electrical code and there's some there's some verbiage within the NEC that says anything that is um, essentially metallic and likely to be energized that shall be grounded. Racking components typically are metal or aluminum um, and could be energized. You've got a module on top of them. And so it has test methods in there for grounding and bonding. Recently, well recently it feels like it's recently, it's probably been three years, where there's a fire classification. So a question was asked um, some time ago, uh, rightly so, asking, all right, if we put a solar panel on a roof, does the introduction of that solar panel affect the fire classification of the roof? And up until that point or that question was asked, you, there wasn't a good answer. Maybe, we don't know, probably. Um, and so a team was put together. I, I help work with that on the metal side of things um, to determine how to test modules on top of roofs and establish a fire classification A, B, or C. A being, if you will, what is obtainable. That's class A is hospitals, schools, where life importance is much more important. Um, B and C. Our classifications you can get as well. Some places, like if you're in the wilderness um, in California, you know there's requirements that you have a Class A rating on your roof um, because what tends to happen is if, the, if there is a wildfire, the roof is what typically ignites. If the roof ignites, then um, their house can be destroyed. And having a Class A roof kind of can help with that. So anyways, all that said, said to say this is Class A fire ratings is what you kind of are reaching for, but you can also have a, a B or a C. Thank you everyone for watching. FAQ Fridays is a new series that is going to be released every Friday. So if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. As well as if you have a comment or question that you want answered, be, feel free to comment down below. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next Friday. Ha, 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 ha.